wanted to run a soil test on the older garden that I've had that we established last year. The soil is in front of you there and you can't you can see that it's certainly not very good soil but um, my opinion is that it's not worth the money that's that we spent uh, on the test kit. The directions were clear enough. Uh, it was fairly simple. Uh, I took a sampling from about 10 different spots of the garden, put it together, mixed it up, and then um, uh, it says to put one part dirt and five parts water in a, in a canister, shake it up, let it set for a few minutes, and then run your test, which I did. However, there's one mistake that I made was that um, I used city water and certainly could have um, skewed the results. You know, secondly, is they put the the test powder in these little capsules um, that you'll see throughout this review and when you pull the capsule apart to dump it in the tube uh, they were so full of the test powder that I spilled some of it so again I don't know how accurate the uh, <laughs> the test ended up being I question the accuracy because in the two middle test tubes in the um, the phosphorus and the nitrogen I had a hard time even getting any color to show as an indication and I questioned that um, my soil was that poor. But you know, that being said, it can be. Um, I used an orange sharpie to mark on the graph where I thought uh, my soil appeared. And uh, later I raised the uh, potash to low rather than very low. And you can see why in the picture. Please comment below if you have any questions and you'd like uh, me to add to this review. But I will put links below to other um, soil test options that I believe are better than the one here. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, or otherwise entertaining, don't forget to subscribe. And remember to smile for a stranger today. You'll both be glad you did.